Margaret Ferrier. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker, and it's a pleasure to follow the Honourable Gentleman. Um, I'd like to start by paying tribute to all NHS key workers and volunteers in my constituency for their care and commitment over the last seven months. I'm going to focus my comments on the economic health of my constituents this evening. For many months now, my constituents have been contacting me to express their fears and concerns about the end of the furlough and self-employed income support schemes. They told me how they were at serious risk of redundancy and they are worried that their livelihoods would be at stake if the scheme ended prematurely. The Chancellor's announcement last week simply does not do enough to support those people whose jobs are at risk due to the pandemic. Dropping the government contribution from 80 per cent of wages to 22 per cent of wages in the transition from furlough to the job recovery scheme means that firms that could still be viable but are not yet able to resume business activity now face the awful choice of closure or mass redundancies. Scottish Government analysis suggests that this move could result in the loss of 61,000 jobs in Scotland when compared with an eight-month extension to the previous furlough scheme. 